I got recognized in LA. It's story time. So about six months ago, I got asked if I would go down to LA to be involved in this big production. Basically, they wanted to take a golfer, Claire Hogel, and a VR gamer, pit them against each other in a VR golf simulator and see who came out on top. I've never been involved in anything like this before. This was absolutely wild. We flew down there, checked in the first day. First day was just like chill. We didn't have to head to the studio or anything. Just landed in LA and it is probably a big difference than the last one when we were in San Francisco. It is loud as hell here. At the airport waiting for a shuttle, I was like, oh, I'm in LA. I can tell by the freaking million of, of horns honking at everybody out there. So of course we went and played a little real top golf to try and prepare for it, went out to dinner. The next morning we get up, we drive over pretty early in the morning. We come up to this like studio and there's people outside all eating breakfast, it's like 30 people. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, this has got to be the whole company is out here. And then they're all going to go their separate ways. And we're going to go in to do this. All these people were there to work on this together. You can see a lot of it through the final video. I'll have some clips up here for you to check out, but I'll leave a link in the description to go see the whole thing over on Meta's channel. But it was really cool. They had this huge green screen studio where we got to go in to play the game. They were able to put us in quests and yet we could still see each other, see the game. And they were recording it all through mixed reality so you can see us actually inside of the game. We were there all day. Breakfast was first thing. We filmed, then lunch, then filmed. <laughs> it just, it was a whole day affair with all of this work. And it was really cool to get kind of a behind the scenes of what happens with like these giant studio filming productions. Oh yeah. This trip has been such a whirlwind. I haven't even had time to like film or sit down and talk. Everything I saw there, everything they had, it's like John and I have a mini version, you know, the very cheap, very small version of everything they had there. And so it made me feel like our our recordings are pretty, pretty valid. They're pretty serious. Really cool to see so many people working on something at once. I was definitely really nervous. You know, you hear horror stories from the whole world of like production and filming, people being really mean, directors getting annoyed with people for not doing what they want. And I'd never done anything like this, but the team could not have been nicer. Everyone was super sweet. They were really helpful. They said, do this, do that. They're really encouraging. One of the wildest experiences of my life, only to be topped the next day. Set to fly out the next day, flying back from LAX, back up to Oregon. Through security, two hours to boarding time. So I'm gonna find somewhere good to eat. So I grab some quick food, I get to my gate, and there is so many people at LAX at this point. I barely find a seat. I'm sitting there, I ate real quick, and my brother was actually streaming at the time, so I put in my Bluetooth headphones I brought for the flight, and I was just sitting there watching that, you know, trying to distract myself, because I had like another hour and a half to kill before I could actually board. I look up at one point, and I see this guy, he's kind of like walking through the airport, dressed really nice, like a professional kind of business guy, and he was looking right at me. And I thought, you know, it was probably just one of those moments where you kind of like look and you kind of catch eye contact with someone, so I just smiled and went back down to my phone. He kept walking up and he kind of got in front of me and I, I look up and he's like, you're Jay Brat, aren't you? And that was now the wildest moment of my life when that happened. Like I started laughing. I was like, are, are you kidding me? Like I wasn't wearing any Jay Brat merch. I wasn't wearing anything that said my name or anything. I think I was actually wearing my Oculus shirt. Absolutely wild. This guy, Russell, super nice guy. He was playing it really cool too. Like this has never happened to me before. So I didn't really know what to expect, but he just was like really chill. He was kind of like, you know, I really like the channel. I appreciate what you're doing to help people with their quests. And then I was like, you know, do you have some time do you want to just like chat and he had a good amount of time before he was going to board too so we sat down he told me what he liked about the channel he actually gave me some ideas too some stuff that we've been kind of working towards implementing good ideas big ideas hopefully some of that you'll see in the new year we'll start doing some videos geared towards that i asked him at one point i was like do you want to like take a picture or something and he's like yeah but i didn't want to say that because he's like i didn't want to be weird about it <laughs> so we we took a picture together we chatted till i had to go board it was super Super amazing. You think something like that might happen someday way down the road. I never would have thought it happened. And it happened like this was like six months ago. This happened too. But because this big production had happened in LA, I wasn't allowed to talk about any of it until the video had come out. So the video is out. If you want to see that, you can check it out. I'll leave a link up here to it to go check it out. It's actually on MetaQuest channel. I know some of you caught it on the Discord or when I announced it on Instagram or other places, you went and checked it out. Wildest moment of my life, already rolling after a few of the 
wildest days before that. So with all of that said, I just want to say thank you to all of you out there because none of this would be happening if it wasn't for you supporting the channel, watching the videos, clicking like, telling your friends about it. It does so much for the channel and we've seen so much growth that it's been an amazing year. So thank you probably for the millionth time and there's gonna be a million more because I just appreciate it so much. Thank you to all of you. I wanna say thanks for coming out and being here with me for this little fun story. And I will see you in another reality.